Do you ever get tired of your devices randomly changing IP addresses? One day, your media server streams perfectly. The next day, it disappears from your network. Yeah, that's your router playing musical chairs with your IPs. So today, we're fixing that once and for all. But what exactly are we talking about here? We're talking about static IP addresses. So in this video, we'll discuss what they are, why you actually need them, and how to set them up the right way. And we'll get all of this done in under 10 minutes. And I'm Michael Scott, and not the one from The Office. And this is the ultimate tech up. Sometimes I'll start a sentence, and I don't even know where it's going. I just hope I find it along the way, like an improv conversation. N improvisation. All right, let's dive into it. So first, what exactly is a static IP address? A static IP address is a fixed IP address assigned to a device on a network that stays the same every time it connects. So how are IP addresses typically assigned to devices? In simple terms, your router is basically a traffic cop for your home network. Every device from your phone, laptop, smart TV, media server, even your refrigerator gets an IP address so they can talk to the network. And normally your router uses something called DHCP, which stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. DHCP automatically hands out IP addresses whenever a device joins your network. And these type of IPs are known as dynamic IP addresses. However, these IP addresses are only temporary. And this is known as a DHCP lease, and this is how it works. When your device connects to the network, your router gives it an IP address from the pool. Typically, this pool range is between 192.168.1.2 and 192.168.1.253. But that IP address isn't permanent. This IP address is leased for a specific period of time, usually 24 hours by default. So when that lease time runs out, one of two things happens. If your device is still connected, it renews the same IP. However, if it's gone or offline for too long, your router might reclaim that IP address and hand it off to someone else. That's why sometimes your devices get new IP addresses after a reboot or a long power outage, which means that lease expired and DHCP reassigned it. So why should we care about these lease times? Well, the first reason is network stability. A short lease time means your IPs will change often, which is not great for servers, smart home hubs, or security cameras. These devices need consistent IP addresses. Reason number two, large networks. In large households or offices, shorter lease times help recycle IPs quickly as devices connect and disconnect all day. And reason number three is troubleshooting and performance. Longer leases reduce DHCP traffic and make your network a bit quieter. However, shorter lease times can help when you're testing new hardware or you want fresh IPs often. For most home networks, 24 hours to seven days is a solid lease time. So why do we need static IP addresses? Well, for instance, how about a media server? A static IP address keeps your Plex or Jellyfin server accessible from every device. No broken connections or missing libraries, because that's really annoying. How about a home server or a NAS? With a static IP address, your Synology or TrueNAS stays reachable 24 seven without changing IP addresses. And lastly, port forwarding for gaming. Your PS5, Minecraft, or remote desktop setup never breaks again because your IP address never moves. High five to static IP addresses. So yeah, static IPs make your network more stable, predictable, and a whole lot easier to manage. So now the fun part, how do we set up static IPs? All right, first things first, log into your router. Open your browser and type in 192.168.1.1 or maybe 192.168.0.1. Just check your router documentation. Next, enter your admin username and password. Now, once you're logged in, look for LAN or DHCP settings. In my TP-Link router, it's under Advanced DHCP. This is where your router manages the IP pool in lease times. So now we're going to adjust the DHCP range. By default, your router will hand out IP addresses starting at .2 in the fourth octet. For example, 192.168.1.2. We'll change that so the DHCP pool starts at .10, not .2. So it looks like this, 192.168. 1.10 through 192.168.1.253. That leaves 192.168.1.2 through 192.168.1.9. These will be available for manual static IP address assignments. Perfect for your server, NAS, or gaming PC. So next we're going to assign static IPs, and we can do this two ways. Option number one 
is setting up a static IP address on your device. And we'll use my desktop PC for the example. All right, first on your computer, go to Network Connections. Then you'll want to click on Ethernet. Then go to Properties. Next, from the list, look for Internet Protocol version 4. Then click on it. Next, from here, go ahead and click Use the following IP address. And then we'll type in 192.168.1.4. And the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. The default gateway is 192.168.1.1. That's the exact same address as your router. Now for our DNS, I'm going to use Cloudflare and Quad9, but you can use anything you want. When you're done, hit OK, and then make sure to check that we're online. And yes, we're online. And now we'll check in our router from the client list and make sure the IP address is correct. And yes, it is correct. 192.168.1.4. Bravo. It's super easy. And this works for laptops, cell phones, gaming consoles, media servers, camera systems, and much, much more. Now the second option is DHCP reservation. You'll want to go to address reservation or static leases. Now pick your device by MAC address and assign a static IP. If you're having an issue finding your device's MAC address, simply go to your PlayStation, computer, phone, or laptop and look for the MAC address. Then you can write it down and look for the MAC address in the network list. So for example, we're going to assign a static IP address to our PS5. And the network list, it says PS5. You can see our PS5 has a current IP address of 192.168.1.202. So we'll copy the MAC address, go back to Advanced Settings, DHCP Server, and then we'll go to Address Reservation, then paste the MAC address into the MAC field. This is where it gets a little bit different, because we're going to use an IP address inside the pool and not outside the pool. So I'll type in 192.168.1.11. Hit save and then reboot your PS5 or computer and log back into the router. And now you can see my PS5 has a static IP address of 192.168.1.11. Just for clarification, an address reservation is not officially a static IP address, although it acts in the same way by assigning a permanent IP address to the device. So just remember, an address reservation is set on the router. A static IP address is set on the device. And when configuring an address reservation, the IP address will be inside the pool range, unlike a static IP address that has to be outside the pool range. Once you start using static IPs for your key devices, your network becomes faster, more reliable, and much more predictable. So guys and gals, if you found this helpful, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And for God's sake, smash the bell icon. And I'm Michael Scott, and not the one from The Office. These are our demands. This is what we want. Our balls are in your court. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. High five. Peace.